Cameron, great to G'day. see you, mate. Great I'm today. so excited. This has been a major part of the renovation of this house. We've transformed the looks of it, but we've gone to great lengths to look after how it feels to live in this house. So we've got double glazed windows. We've put lots of insulation in. Now, I've got to say, I was loving my new sexy roof with the beautiful rib lines, and I know we're covering it, but if we have to cover it in anything, it's I'm happy for it to be these. <laughs> This is a damn good looking solar panel, mate. Tell me about it. Well, I reckon it's the most beautiful thing you'll ever see once you start getting power bills in. Yeah. But um, this is the brand new uh, solar panel, the 415 watt from Longy, and it's an all black panel. So they're only brand new on the market, mm -hmm. only the last few weeks. Wow. With their split cells. So they cut the cell in half, and now we've got all these cells cascaded down, down the panel, and the back sheet is black. So it just gives you that really, really good all black look, which is sets off on the roof quite strong. It's, all, it's, uh, it's rated to be on the roof and take the wind, take the you know the reasonable amount of hail. Yes. Um, so they're quite robust. It's not a massive house, but we've actually got a pretty good amount of roof area, almost with that centre ridge line. You're spreading the panels over two sides of the roof, obviously, to get the morning and afternoon yeah. sun. Is that an ideal sort of setup? It is. You know, back in the back in the day, with panels being much smaller, you always went for north. Now we've got panels that are so much more powerful that we go east and west, and that gives you a great start in the morning. Have my hot shower in Have the morning. Have your hot shower in the morning. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and then it will keep on running through the day. So you'll still get a big peak in the middle of the day. Sure. And you'd really have no sun impediment on the west here. So you're going to get a really good production. It's very, very late. Yeah, the day. only thing that blocks us is the flocks of birds that go overhead. You yeah. can sort of hear them now <laughs> in the background. So how many panels am I needing for how many kilowatts? We're doing, we're putting 28 panels on today. Okay. Uh, which, which will bring us to uh, about 11 kilowatts. Uh, back in the day, like, when we used to have 250 watt panels, I, I, we needed 26 to just achieve 6.6. .6. Wow. So now we we can find a whole lot more uh, production space now that the panels are like getting near double the capacity. I'm gathering that I'm holding this little thing because this is the fitting. Yeah. So this is the new um, interface kit from S5. And, uh, and so this little block here, yeah. that's the bit that actually goes over that standing Slides seat over, yeah. and clamps it on. So mm -hmm. that's that's rated for all of the wind, you know, like anything that the nature could throw at this house, that will handle. Normally, we would have a much bigger um, bracket that fits on that, but that direct mount system gets the panel right down snug to the roof, okay. which just makes it look so much more sleek. So, I can see this little sort of lip, so yep. I'm using my brain power here and I'm expecting that clips on, am I right? Exactly right. Yeah? Yep. And it's also got these little burrs there, yep. and they actually dig into the panel and create the earth, because every panel's got to be earthed. I can hear the boys up there now, they're drilling and connecting it. One of the big things, of course, is oh and we've got to have safety yep. on site. Yep. We've been like this all the way yep. through. I know that I've seen it up there, I'm presuming this is being reused. Yeah, they've, we've got a, a slightly larger version of that, because we need to attach the guys to the roof. Right. And uh, so we've, we use a number of these uh, clamps to hold a bracket down, and that's where their tethers are connected to. And we've yep. got a series of those up on the roof. If we didn't have that system, this is the system we would have used. Right. And that's pretty complex and pretty high. So this is the panel height. That's, wow. your, that's your mid clamp. There's your panel that's and we're, there. And we're here. And we're down there. So that's a, that's, gosh, that's like a 12 centimetres or something yeah. different. On tiles, we have to use that type of setup. Okay. I love that it sits so close to it, yeah. so it makes sense for me not to have that strong wind underneath yeah, it, it but also that difference. nice clean lines of the roof which we wanted. I know we've got the panels going on there of course, but the sun power gets transformed into electricity into the house yeah. and that comes through an inverter. Yep, so we start at the eight and a half kilowatt and go sure. to ten. Yep. So, uh, and they also have a six in that range, so sure. that's the big one, because it's a it's got three MPPTs and all three channels, multi-power point trackers. So. We can face three different directions. We're facing east, north, and west. So we're covering the Getting whole... Getting all the sun. Yeah. I'm so, loving it. So, yeah. I want to check out the inverter. Okay, let's go. This is the engine room. This is what they call the engine of the solar system. Okay. So um, this is a eight and a half kilowatt inverter, mm -hmm. uh, and it's got three, what we call MPPTs, but three channels effectively. So we can, we've can we got three DC inputs from the roof, yep. which means we can face three different directions. We, we're consuming a lot of these now in Australia, aren't yeah. we? And we're, yeah. we're probably leading the world per capita sure. uh, with, solar, with solar uptake. I know um, dealing with the guys at Energy Matters helped put us all together and we've got a few yeah. different teams coming on board, <laughs> but um, you guys are doing a lot of work. You're specialised up here on the Central Coast. Yeah, yeah, we just, the uh, Central Coast is our home. That's yep. where we live. Yep. Uh, all of us live here. And how long have you been
you been installing solar panels We're up in this our way? Ninth year. Nine years. Yeah. It's definitely uptaking, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So as far as the size, this is a family home. This is a you know three four bedroom size yeah. dwelling. Um, is this a normal size for houses now? Are they looking to aim that sort of ten ten and a half? Is yeah, that a normal? Yeah, that's becoming the norm now. Um, right. Only a few years ago, six point six kilowatts with a five kilowatt inverter was the norm. Sure. Uh, but the needs of family homes, especially with, with modern larger homes. Um, you know, you really need to go for the larger systems. We've got the solar panels. The boys are up there installing now. You work with that team a lot as well. Yeah. They do all your installations, yeah. so that relationship's important as well. It is. You've got to really have a good relationship with the guys. Right. And you deal with those difficult clients like me who want as much power as I get, but I want to see as much of my roof as I can get as well. Is that normal to try and sort of do a bit of a design that fits that? Yeah, we do. And um, it's becoming easier with much larger output panels because... Back, you know, like a few years ago, to do a six and a half kilowatt system, I needed to find a home for 26 panels. Wow. For that same system. These days, I only need to find a home for 15. Physically, they're not much different to what they were five years ago. They're just becoming more powerful. But the efficiency is, is, is you know, they've, they've made some really good jumps in efficiency. Because this has got to last for a long time. Yeah, you've got something here that's going to, that's really designed to last 25 years. We're creating a house that we want to enjoy for many years to come. And part of that future proofing is to be able to prepare for an electric car. I don't have one now. It's definitely on the radar. Um, so this is also giving me the ability to be able to connect a charger. So when I get, can get one, I can connect one on. And we're doing that. It's very exciting. Yeah, through the day, you're going to have surplus solar energy. You, know, you won't be able to use all that energy that you generate through the day so that that surplus energy that you're generating goes to the car and doesn't get exported to the grid. Yep. So you're sitting there charging your car for free. Yes. So Doesn't perfect. that sound good? No, no <laughs> fuel costs. Yeah. Now, um, batteries are sort of changing and evolving as well, aren't they? They've evolved uh, a long way just in the last five years. Mm. You know, the energy density is improving all the time. So, yeah, visit like a solar panel. Yep. We've got batteries now that are wall mounted that are no thicker than that. Now, as far as getting this excess power that I'm not obviously going to use during the day, where would be that point where I should be looking at investing in a battery? Like I get, I see bills every day and we're getting that transition where the bills are now, all those price rises they've been promising for yes, so long, yeah. they're now hitting. And I'm seeing bills that are 50% more expensive just on the rate of charge, just, just for that kilowatt hour. It's 50%. I'm thinking, they they really probably could do with a battery sure. because they've gone from spending 30 cents on a kilowatt hour to 45 cents on a kilowatt hour. So yeah. that money they can save by not buying power in a peak of the afternoon because mm -hmm. they've got it all charged in the battery and they can store that energy and use it in the afternoon. How many years do you think you're having energy savings to pay for the system that you're putting on to give you that return? Is that still realistic? Yeah, so on a solar system alone, it's yep. three to four years. Yep. Uh, and, and that's a pretty remarkable return on the investment. I think it's amazing. When you add a battery to that, sure. because of the extra cost of the battery, you probably going to push that out to eight years. Yep. Which, again, in today's market is a pretty remarkable return on your investment. Sure. Um, so it was only a few years ago I was bragging about six-year return on... On, in, on solar alone, right. and now it's like three to four. Yeah, so that's amazing. I love it, mate. I yeah. still think that that's a damn good looking thing. It almost works perfectly with the wall colour of my house. Yep. Yeah, no, we've still got a few things to do here. The DC's got to come through from the roof. We've got to tidy this up and make it look a lot more, yeah. more presentable. I might have to colour match this with my, my white or black. Mm -hmm. um, the panels are beautiful. The fitting is fantastic. Um, we were excited to have you guys coming here and knowing that it's going to make this house just so much more efficient to run and help us future-proof this house. I'm really happy to have Thank you here, you. mate. Thanks so much. Thanks for having us. We we're pumped to do it for you. So Sam, I want to know what makes you so amazing at installing solar panels because Cameron <laughs> said when it comes to installing his product, you are the man. Oh man, after years of experience, I think it's hard not to be that good. After yeah. about six years experience, okay, mate, it's pretty hard not to be. So, so this fitting is pretty smart, isn't it? So when, when I first sort of came across this, I was sceptical, um, but upon putting it on the roof, like put it on, put it on the standing seam like that, and clicking these panels in, it's effortless. Like yeah. you just panel after panel after panel, it's just so easy. To those ropes with the harnesses. No, that's yeah. also being able to use this fitting. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's correct. Like, it's so, yeah, exactly. That, that that little that little double set up there with the for the anchor point is so it was so easy to put on. Like, when me and the boys are looking at it, going, how we put that put across this, but 
as soon as we put it on, hooked it on, like we we're giving it some tension and like obviously it's rated and been engineered yeah. to, to do so, but it was great. So you've done most of it today, you got the inverter in and most of the solar panels yep. on a little bit of work tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, generally these jobs take one or two days, but yeah, we'll come back tomorrow morning and finish it off. Yeah, well, yep, yep. Sam, All it's right. great to meet you, mate. Thank yeah, you mate. to you and the boys for being here. Yep. I'm definitely looking forward to a great looking roof, beautiful solar panels and no energy bills. Yeah, mate, that's what solar's all about.